We are back once again, ready to take you to school, sharing interesting facts from history. We sure are, little bro. Today, I am super excited to get into interesting facts about the life of Stevie Wonder. And boy, oh boy, don't go anywhere because we have some facts I am sure you don't know about this musical genius. I hear you about being excited, big sis. And for sure, I have a fact that before it's all over, you will be like, whoa, I never knew that about Stevie Wonder and one of his songs. So you say, whoa, are you talking about a whoa or a whoa? I'm talking about a whoa, wow, OMG. Stevie Wonder is all that big, sis. I mean, looking at an amazing career, Stevie Wonder is one of the most iconic singer, songwriters, and instrumentalists who have ever dominated the music industry. Well, let's get this party started, little bro. Our first fact is all about his name. Although we know him as Stevie Wonder, that was not his name given to him at birth. The life of Stevelyn Hardaway Morris, better known as Stevie Wonder, began on May 13th in 1950, where he was born in Saginaw, Michigan. When looking at facts from the biography of Stevie Wonder, we have to talk about how Stevie is blind. Right. Sadly, when he was born premature, coming in six weeks early, he developed an eye disorder after receiving treatment at a local hospital there in Saginaw, Michigan. This would eventually lead to Stevie going blind. That is awful, big sis. The crazy thing about Stevie's story is, although he was born blind, his talents would be recognized at an early age. You got that right, little bro. Another interesting fact we want to share during this video is how Stevie Wonder would join one of the most iconic record labels in music history. When Stevie Wonder was just 11 years old, he was discovered by Ronnie White of the Motown band The Miracles. Ronnie knew that Stevie was talented and got him an audition with the Motown president Barry Gordy. Of course, Barry Gordy was blown away by Stevie's talent and signed him to Motown Records. He sure did. And a crazy part about Stevie Wonder's story is although people know him as the successful music artist he is today, that wasn't how Stevie's career got going. After signing with Motown Records, the label thought it would be a good idea for Stevie to record a tribute album to another I iconic singer named Ray Charles. Wonder covered many of Ray Charles' songs in a tribute to Uncle Ray, but the album wasn't a success like they thought it would be. Right, but they didn't stop there. They had the idea to put Stevie Wonder on tour. A young Stevie Wonder would join the Motown Review, which was a popular tour around the country, including the likes of The Supremes, Marvin Gaye, the Temptations, The Miracles, and more. That idea would be a game changer for music history and the life of Stevie Wonder. Once music fans got a taste of Stevie Wonder's singing and talent as an instrumentalist, his songs would go on to be loved by fans around the world. You got that right, little bro. By 1963, Stevie Wonder would have his first chart topper called Fingertips Part 2. And that would just be the beginning of a long and successful career. Looking at Stevie Wonder's resume, he has been nominated for 74 Grammy Awards and has won 25 of those nominations for songs like Superstition, You Are the Sunshine of My Life, Living for the City, That's What Friends Are For, and more. The music that Stevie Wonder has made is amazing. Like it is hard to celebrate birthdays for many of his fans without thinking about the song Stevie Wonder released called Happy Birthday. The crazy part about Happy Birthday is there was a special meaning behind Wonder 
creating the song. This is one of my favorite facts from the biography of Stevie Wonder. When looking at the release of Stevie Wonder's Happy Birthday, many people don't know it was a tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Stevie Wonder would be a big part of pushing for Dr. King's birthday to be celebrated as a national holiday. The life of Stevie Wonder when read aloud is an inspirational story. His works in the world of entertainment and civil rights advocacy would also be recognized by the President of the United States. On November 11, 2014, the White House announced that Wonder would be the recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom Award, which is the nation's highest civilian honor. Wow, the life of Stevie Wonder is definitely one for the history books as we took you to school, sharing interesting facts from history for students. <laughs>